So when we fill tanks, whether we are filling singles for side mount or singles for back mount versus filling tanks in a doubles configuration, sometimes if we're using mixed gas, it's a lot easier to actually fill doubles than what, what it is with single cylinders. And I'm gonna show you today just how easy it is to fill a set of doubles to make sure you get the exact mixture you want in both tanks. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, I'm actually going to be filling a set of doubles. These are actually my personal doubles here. You guys don't actually get to see me dive them a lot, but I'm going to be topping them off and I'm going to show you how simple it is to fill a set of doubles. But before we do that, we're going to take a standard tank. We're going to hook it up to our air system here. And I'm going to teach you the process of filling a tank. Then I'm going to show you how you can fill two tanks at the same time. Now with a standard scuba cylinder, the first thing of course we do is we check to see if it's in viz and if the hydro is good in it. If it's in viz and the hydro is good, then we just do a quick external inspection of it. Make sure everything looks good with the tank. Make sure the knobs are all working. And then we're going to hook up a fill whip. Now this is a DIN style valve, so we're going to go to our DIN adapter. And I'll simply screw it in, like so. And then, of course, I can turn it onto the system and fill it from the system. Now, with a set of doubles, it's pretty much going to be the same, but now we're filling two tanks. And a lot of people get scared of filling two tanks because they feel like, well, you've got to use two uh, fill whips, and you've got to fill them at separate times. And the truth is... That's the furthest thing from the truth. The reason is these doubles have a manifold that goes through. So when I fill these, I've really only got to fill one at a time because this manifold is going to allow that air to transfer from both cylinders. So all I do, take my fill whip, hook it up, and it doesn't matter which side you do. Once your fill whip's hooked, we're only going to be controlling this knob here, but I do want to make sure that my isolator is open. That's what connects these two cylinders together. Now that everything's good to go, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. All right, isolator's open. This one's closed. We're going to go ahead and open this valve here. And then it's reading at about 33. So we're going to be topping this cylinder off. We're going to open that bank up. And then I'm going to start filling from my cascades. <clears throat> now the beauty is here, I'm actually filling both bottles at the same time. And I can monitor their fill rate here. And with that oscillator valve there, it's actually filling both tanks. I don't have to have two fill whips because not only is the air going in one cylinder, the air is actually going into the other cylinder as well. So filling doubles is really not that difficult. That one's maxed out. We're going to go over to the next one. And we're just going to continue to cascade down until the bottles are full. <clears throat> and that one's about bottomed out. So we'll go over to the next bank. And of course, now we are full. So simply with one fill whip, I can fill a set of doubles very easily. All I've got to make sure is done is that the oscillator valve is open, one valve of one cylinder is open, the other valve is off, and I can fill a set of doubles simply by filling one tank. But that's it, guys. That's how easy it is to fill a set of doubles. We do the same exact procedures that we do with singles and we simply fill two tanks at once. Guys, if you like this video, or if you want to see more technical-based videos like this, drop me a comment down below what you'd like to see next. If you did like it, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.